I'm Mike Lanesman and welcome to another video tutorial. This InDesign video tutorial demonstrates the use of a lovely feature which is called the paste into command. In this example we'll be using it to add some creativity and a different effect to some text. The text in this instance will be the heading. We start off with a mock-up document for a flower show. So let's start generating the heading. We head on over to the toolbar and we select the type tool. One thing to watch out for is you do not want to see the I-beam with the round dots around it because when you click to add text you will add the text into your main document. What you want to be doing is you want to be clicking anywhere outside of your original text frame so that you have the I-beam with the square around it with the dots. We click and drag out our text frame. The size is irrelevant at this point and we will type in the words flower show, the heading to our document. To enlarge the size of the text we hit the escape key so that the text frame is selected. You then hold the shift, the command and the greater than key on the keyboard. When you tap the greater than key it makes the text larger and when you tap the less than key it makes the text smaller. These two keys can be found to the right of the letter M. Let's now select an appropriate typeface. We do this from the character panel which can be found under the window menu, type and tables, character. The typeface that I'm going to use in this example is alternative gothic. We can now move the text frame a little bit over and we can use shift command or shift and control if you're on a Windows computer and tap on the greater than key which will enlarge the size of your text. Now in order to facilitate centering and placement, this text frame as you can see is way too large for the size of the text that we've just created. So we right click on one of the letters and we select fitting fit frame to content. That has now fitted the text frame to the content which is the text. We now place it as we require and there we have it. Now the next step is going to be using the paste into command. We're going to be pasting an image into this text. However, text cannot be pasted into editable text, which this is right now. An image can be pasted into a vector shape. To create a vector shape from text, we use the create outlines command. To do this, we invoke the type menu and we select create outlines. This text has now ceased to be editable text and has now been converted to a vector shape. The next step is to place the image. Ensure that you click off of the document so no areas are selected. So we can do this from the file menu and select place or if it is available in a folder in the finder or in bridge we can simply click and drag it into our document click once and click anywhere outside so it's not directly on top of your document to place the image. We're now going to use the cut command which is under the edit menu and we select cut. Select the text with the black selection tool, the first selection tool in the toolbar and we're going to select edit paste into. And there you have it. There you now have the image that is pasted into the text or into the vector shape. We still have control over how this image will be displayed within the text. By moving over the image, we see the content grabber, the little donut. When you click on the donut, you can actually see the blue outline showing you the actual size of this image. To reduce the size of the image, you hold the shift and the command key or the shift and the control key if you're on a Windows computer and you can simply scale it down and we can move to the top shift and command and bring it in to the edges. To move it down click on the content grabber and you can simply now reposition as required. So there you have a really cool creative technique to add some creativity 
to your headings in your document. I'm demonstrating this feature in the latest version of Adobe InDesign CC 2017. However, it is available in CS6 and in CS5. I hope this will help you in your InDesign documents. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.